Okay, here's what I got today. Uh, I'm making a shop furniture thing. It's gonna hold a couple milk crates uh, for my ready to use uh, logging items. I'm gonna have it on casters just to kind of clean things up. But point of this video is um, mid-panel domino placement. Um, I, it's always something I kind of struggled with. You know, do I set up a jig? Do I, you know, how do I do this? And what I mean by that is you're making a bookshelf, you're making a cabinet, you're making something and you want a shelf in the middle of it and you wanna use dominoes to do it. How do you accurately um, place them? How do you cut them, make sure it's all gonna be square and as accurate as Festool touts? Um, I've since learned they covered this in the manual that I never read, that's my own mistake. I probably could have saved myself some time and frustration, but uh, we'll show you the trick that I did. That I, it sounds like it's the same way the manual talked about, but just a kind of a real world application of placing uh, dominoes in a mid panel situation so you're in the middle you're not on the ends nothing to register and how you place those and how you make them all accurate and square so keep following along we'll get you lined out okay uh so what i've done i put some plywood spacers under here to hold my shelf up to the height i want this is where i want it to sit this is where i want my dominoes at um this is what i'm going to be working with so works my gimbal here um you can do this on its side. It's standing up now. You can lay it on its side and do the same thing. Uh, you can do it with one half, like one of your sides only, and the shelves. It doesn't really, you don't need it setting in this orientation. Um, what you're gonna do, get it where you want, get a clamp together, and draw a line on the case side, on a top side of the shelf. So uh, this is the top, that's the bottom. Draw a line on that there and there. That is all you need to do for step one. That's the critical part, just drawing it on the top surface. Okay, so what I've done, I've laid my cabinet on its side. Um, this is the upside, this is the bottom. So it was, it's rotated like this. Um, I'm gonna take my top off. This is my top shelf. I have that line drawn there. We're gonna lay it exactly down and line it up with that with our line, so the line is visible. I'm gonna clamp it. Okay, so our line is visible, our piece is lined up side to side. Um, here's how I have my domino set. I have it set for the depth, for the, I think I put it at 16 millimeter, this a little bit thinner plywood. But at 90 degrees, nothing special. Um, yeah, nothing really too uh, amazing here. Uh, we're going to go straight down. We're, so it's gonna register against the shelf and the fence side. So, now I have my dominoes cut in the side panel. Go ahead and uh, remove our bottom just for access. So now I get my, how do I cut the dominoes in the shelf? We're going to register off the bottom, off the, off the side. So now, have both dominoes cut in the shelf and the side panel. And our line is visible and that's it. So I'm gonna repeat for the other side.
shelves, dominoes cut on both sides, and let's put this thing together real quick. Okay, so got it all together, it's all square, all perfect, uh, just as the domino would be. So, um, yeah, worked out really well, and I will put a back on it, put a door on it, and we'll call this one done. Okay, uh, so that was obviously a really quick and dirty video. Um, not the biggest project in the world, but it was something that uh, when I looked around YouTube, I couldn't really find a good answer for it. There's only a couple videos, and they were kind of long and drawn out, so I wanted the quicker version uh, just to share with people. So. Um, that's really it. Uh, that could be that, you know, I was doing a, you know, a small cabinet that could be upscaled into a really large bookcase into a lot of different things, but that's the technique. Um, flip the shelf upward and clamp it together and then make your two cuts. That's the, that's the, that's the technique. So, um, I'm going to probably drop one more video on the Festool Domino, just kind of my overall thoughts with it and what I, what I like and dislike about it. Uh, if you want to see that, let me know. Uh, drop a comment down below. Um, any other questions, leave them below. Hit the comment, rate, subscribe buttons. Those really help me. Um, let me know any feedback you have, anything you want to see. Any other questions, uh, find me on Instagram at Second Life Design. And thank you.